Hello everyone, in this video we will learn what is supervised learning and along with the examples we will look at how the supervised learning works and we will also see the applications of the supervised learning, types of supervised learning and everything about supervised learning. So let's get started. I am Jay Patel and I upload new videos on machine learning regularly so make sure to hit the red subscribe button and also hit the bell icon so that you do not miss when I upload a new video. And without further ado, let's get started. We will start by first looking at the definition of the supervised learning. So supervised learning is a type of machine learning which learns from the label data. Now a label data is a data which has a particular label assigned to it or a particular value assigned to it. So to understand it better, let's say we want to make a model or an application where our goal is to detect whether the given image is of the apple or the orange. So what we can do to make this kind of application is that we can make a machine learning model for that and pass a certain data to this model. Now this data will have a lot of images of the apples and a lot of images of the oranges and each image of the apple will be given a label apple to it and each image of the orange will be given a label orange to it. Now once we have trained our model, our model will recognize certain patterns from the images and associate that kind of pattern to the appropriate label that we have already provided. Uh, let's say for example, uh, our model recognized a red circle shaped object in an image and associate a pattern, uh, sorry, and associate the label apple to it because we have given apple label to it. And let's say it recognized that an orange shaped circle in the image is an orange. Then once we give a new image to the ob then once we give the new image to the machine learning model, it will it will recognize the same pattern and it will look for the associated label to it. So here it will see a red colored circle and most probably it will label it as an apple. Now this is similar to training a small baby about apple and oranges. A small baby don't know what is apple and what is oranges. So the way we teach a baby is that we show them apple and say that hey this is an apple and hey this is the orange. So once we show that baby uh, certain apples a couple of times, the baby will get to know in his mind that this is called apple and this is called oranges. So the next time the baby goes out in the supermarket, he will be able to detect that this is an apple. The same way supervised learning works, uh, we pass a data along with the label to that data to a model and once the model is trained, it recognizes some patterns and associates the labels to that pattern and thus makes the new predictions. Now here in our given example, the output variable was in the form of category. So it could only take either apple value or the orange value. But there can be another type of data set where the output variable can be a numeric value. For example, let's say if we want to make a application where we want to predict the percentage score acquired by a student based on the amount of hours of study uh, every day. We have the data for it and let's say once we train the model by passing this data to it, uh, a model can make an approximate straight line to this given data set and based on this straight line it can make new predictions. For example, if we want to know if the student puts a 4.5 hours every day, then the a probable percentage score is going to be around uh, here. So let's say 40, 45 or 50. So this also comes into the supervised learning where the output variable is a numeric value instead of a label or a category or a class. And another example can be of house price uh, prediction data set where uh, we have the data of the houses uh, with the square foot area with the number of bedrooms and the car size of two cars or one cars etc. And we are also given the price of that particular house. So we can train a model for it and the model will recognize certain patterns from this given data set and it will try to make the accurate or the most probable prediction for the new data that it has never seen before. Now as we saw the data set could be of two types where the labels given was of the categorical label like apple oranges or the labels given 
could also take a numeric value so any numeric value and thus we divide supervised learning into two types one is classification and other is regression so the classification is a type of supervised learning where we are training the model with a categorical labeled data set and the regression is where we train the model with the numerical labeled data set so now we have understood what is supervised learning let us look at some of the real world applications that we can make with supervised learning now there can be so many different types of applications possible using supervised learning some of them can be to uh, to detect the spam or the spam detection uh, this is the way if, in which we can detect if the mail is a spam or not if the mail is a spam it will automatically put it in the spam folder and if it is not a spam it will Put it in your inbox other can be object classification uh, and this can be to classify the object given in the image for example face recognition or handwritten digit recognition etc then third can be speech recognition it can detect uh, whether if it is your voice or someone uh, someone else's voice and other application can be related to health where we can uh, determine if the tumor is malignant or not from the given x-ray image so this was about supervised learning to have a recap supervised learning is a type of machine learning in which we learn from the label data where the correct answer is already given thus we can say that the model is learning under our supervision now in the next video we will learn about the logistic regression which is a model that we use to make the classification predictions for example to predict whether the given image is an apple or an orange so you can check out that video by clicking on the left side and i see you there